What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Prosper back with another reaction video. In this video, bro, I'm about to react to Common. I used to love her. Uh, it's a classic ass track, bro. I've yet to listen to it, so I'm about to react to it. Um, a few of you guys re requested this one, so shout out to you guys that did. Um, but I'm excited. I'm ready to see what's up with this shit, bro. Um, and I'm messing with Common Heavy, bro, just based off the few tracks I've listened to. And I'm messing with him just based off the person he is, you know what I mean, and what he stands for. So yeah, I'm ready to see what's up with this shit, but before we get into the video, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, roll time to K-subs, let's get it, let's go, post notifications on, and with that being said, let's check this out. Yes, yes, y'all, it don't stop, to the beat, y'all, it don't stop, yes, yes, y'all, it don't stop, but one, two, y'all, it don't stop, yes, yes, y'all, it don't stop, until the beat comes, says the beat is short shot, come on, I come met on. this girl when I was come 10 on. years old, and what I love most, she had so much soul, she was old school, and I was just a shorty, never knew, throughout my life, she would be there for me, or the and I've heard everyone talk, reference this song, you know what I mean, in their verses and everything, so I already in an off the rip know what it is, you know, it's just him that's talking about the state of hip-hop, which is crazy to think that the state of hip-hop was in a bad state in 1994, which it wasn't, but for him to make this song, I used to love her, he's just personifying hip-hop as a girl, that's just what it is, because um, like I said, I've heard so many rappers reference it. Uh, in their songs, I think the one that comes off the top of my head is Royce the Five Nine referenced this. I think a few times. Well, let's go. It could don't stop. I want to y'all. It could don't stop. I guess yes, y'all. It could don't stop. Until the beat comes, says the beat is sure shot. Come on. I met this girl when I was 10 years old. And what I love most, she had so much soul. She was old school, and I was just a shorty, never knew. Throughout my life, she would be there for me or the regular. Not a church girl, she was secular. Not about the money, those stuff was my checker, but I respected her. She hit me in the heart. A few New York niggas had did her in the park. Okay. But she was there for me, and I was there for her. Pull out a chair for her, turn on the air for her, and just cool out. Cool out and listen to her. Sitting on bone, wishing that I could do eventually if it was meant to be, that it would be because we related physically and mentally. And she was fun then. I'd be geeked when she come around. Slim was fresh, Joe, when she was underground. Original, pure, untapped, but a down sister. Boy, I tell you, I miss her. Okay. Yes, yes. Hold up, hold up. So it sounds like he's talking about, like I said, he's, it's a, uh, hip, he's personifying hip hop uh, as a girl. Uh, or using hip a girl as the metaphor, whichever way you want to see it, right? Um, so he's just talking about how a few New York niggas uh, had did her in the park. Uh, so I guess I don't know exactly what he means by that, but uh, just a bunch of artists, uh, different rappers and whatnot. Uh, you know what I mean? She, she, being She's being shared with them. That's just what it is. Um, but what he talks about towards the end right here, bro, was, uh, how his love for the art, uh, he just expresses his love for the art, right? Eventually, if, if it was meant to be, then it would be, because we're, uh, we related physically and mentally, and she was fun then, I'd be geek when she come around. Slim was fresh, yo, when she was underground. Original peer, untampered, a down sister. But boy, uh, boy, I tell you, I miss her. So, I guess he has a problem with the mainstream, because right here he's saying he he loved her when she was underground, when the hip hop scene was underground. It was original, pure, untampered. But once it went to the mainstream, I guess it lost its uh, uh, what is it called? The I don't know exactly how to explain it, but the roots. It it lost the roots where it derived from. I guess you can say. Um, but I'll fuck with it. Let's keep it going, bro. I'm, I like the way he's rapping, bro. Let's keep it going. I tell you, I miss him. Uh, yes, yes, y'all. It could don't stop. To the beat, y'all. It could don't stop. Uh, yes, yes, y'all. It could don't stop. A uh, one, two, y'all. It could don't stop. A uh, yes, yes, y'all. It could don't stop. A uh, cop says, y'all. It could don't stop. That's hard, bro. Uh, that's fire how he does that. A uh, calm sense, y'all, and you don't stop. Common sense. 
uh, his name, a play on his name, that's fire. Bro. Yes, yes, yo, if you don't stop, you act, yo, we gotta be the short shot. That periodically I would see, oh girl at the club, sit at the house party. She didn't have a body, but she started getting thick quick, did a couple of videos and became Afrocentric. Out goes the weave, in goes the braised bees medallion. She was on that tip about stopping the violence about okay. my people. She was teaching me, by not preaching to me, but speaking. Okay, so... My bad, I should have let the verse play out, uh, but I'll just run it back. Uh, but the Stop the Violence, he's talking about the Stop the Violence movement uh, that KRS originated, right? Not originated, uh, organized, I'm guessing. Uh, it was an album, right? Self-Destruction album, or as the singles called Self-Destruction, I believe, that I reacted to. But uh, So this is dope. He's giving history lesson, right, of hip-hop. And expressing what he loved about it and versus what he disliked about it in the in the metaphor form of a girl so this is creative bro this is creative uh, but a lot of the references I'm not gonna catch you know what I mean in the, like in the first verse I know there's certain stuff that uh, went over my head right uh, part of the references and shit uh, but this reference I caught just because I reacted to that track. But she started getting thick quick, did a couple of videos and became Afrocentric. Out goes the weave, in goes the braised bees medallion. She I was that that. about stopping the violence, about my people she was teaching me, by not preaching to me, but speaking to me. Okay. In a method that was leisurely, so easily I approach. She dug my rap, that's how we got close. But then she broke to the West Coast, and I was cool, because around the same time, I went away to school, and I'm a man dub expanded. So why should I stand in a way? She probably get up money in LA And she did stud She got big pub But what was foul She said that the pro black Was going out of style She said Afrocentricity Was of the past So she got in the R&B Hip house Bass and jazz Now black music Is black music And it's all good I wasn't salty She was with the boys In the hood Cause I was new for her She was becoming well rounded I thought it was dope How she was on that freestyle Shit just having fun Not worried about anyone And you can tell By how her titties hung huh. Yes yes that's interesting, bro. Um, so I didn't know this, bro. Like, like I said, he's, it seems like he's just touching on the history um, of the st state of hip hop, right? Um, did a couple of videos and became Afrocentric. Out goes the weave, weave in goes braids, beads, and medallions. So um, I guess he's talk like there's a reference here, obviously, to, to the time period he's talking about uh, of hip hop relating to certain artists doing certain things right um i don't know who he's talking about but uh that's dope uh being uh just pr being proud of your blackness right being proud of your uh of who you are which is dope i fuck with that right rocking braids rocking your natural hairstyle uh, out goes the weave the artificial hair and all that um then he goes and says then she broke to the west coast and that was cool because around the same time I went away to school. Um, so when she went to West Coast, talking about how when rap shifted over to the West Coast, because it originated in, in New York, right? Uh, talking about, uh, he, he that was cool. He, he didn't trip about it. She's probably getting money in LA. She did, and she did stud and got big pud, pub, uh, big pub. I don't know what he means by that. Uh, but what was foul? She said that pro black was going out of style. She th said Afro -cent centricity was in the past. So now she got into R and B, hip hop, baz, and jazz. Now black music is black music, and it's all good, which is dope. I fuck with that. Uh, I wasn't salty. She was with the boys in the hood. So he's talking about how these type of rappers now are p pushing. Uh, I guess. They're, they're just using the music to explain their livelihood and whatnot. Because uh, that was good for her. She became well-rounded. I thought it was dope how she was on that freestyle shit. Just having fun, not worried about anyone. You could tell by how her titties hung. So I don't get that. Uh, what is it called? This is probably an analogy. You could tell by her. Or um, some something, you know what I mean? A metaphor, a simile, or whatever you want to call it. But... Uh, I don't, I, that shit's going over my head. Like I said, bro, a lot of the shit he's talking about, like, there's a lot of references he's touching on, right? That's gonna definitely go over my head, so, 
but I'll fuck with it, bro. I get the overall idea of the track. This is dope. I might have failed a bitch that this chick was creative. Once the man got to her, he altered her native. So that if she got an energetic gimmick, then she can make money. And she did it like a dummy. Okay, now that I makes see her in commercials. She's universal. She used to only swing it with the inner city circle. Now she be in the burbs looking rock and dressing hippie. And on some dumb shit when she comes to the city. Talking about popping blocks, serving rocks and hitting switches. Now she's a gangster rolling with gangster bitches. Always smoking blunts and getting drunk. Telling me sad stories. Now she only fucks with the funk. Stressing how hardcore and real she is. She was really the realest before she got into showbiz. I okay. did her. Not just to say I did it, but I'm committed. Girl, but so committed. many niggas hit it. And she's just not the same. Letting all these goofies do her. I see niggas slamming her and taking it to the sewer. But I'ma take her back hoping that this shit stop. Cause who I'm talking about, y'all is hip. That's fire. That's fire, bro. And you know what? Uh, I'll touch on that later, but let's go over this verse, bro. Uh, I might have failed to mention that this chick was creative, right? Hip hop was creative, it has so many different avenues, different lanes, You get, I guess you can say. Once the man got to her, he altered her native, uh, the root of what it was. He told her that she got an image and a gimmick that she could make money and she did it like a dummy. So exploiting the culture, the art form, for the quick check, right? Gimmicks, uh, using an image and all that shit especially nowadays like that shit i don't know how it wasn't it didn't seem like because of all the great music you know what i mean it's the golden era uh but for him to, for him to be saying that like it seems like this shit was dedicated to what we're the rap scene right now nowadays right uh, all the commercial rap um but i can't imagine it being like that back then bro uh maybe it's just because them niggas didn't last you know what i mean the whack rappers didn't last so I've never heard of them. So it seems like there were never whack rappers in that era. But um, uh, you know what I mean? Using gimmicks, using image to sell records instead of staying true to the art form. But uh, now I see her in commercials. She's universal. So meaning she, she's, she, she, it's mainstream. You know what I mean? It's everywhere. Uh, she used to only swing with the inner city circle. Now she be in the burbs uh, looking, rocking, looking, rocking, dressing hippie. Uh, so I guess he's talking about how hip hop, uh, what is it called, now entered the white household. Um, you know what I mean? Entered the suburbs. Uh, and on some dumb shit when she comes to the city talking about popping glocks, serving rocks, and hitting switches. Now she a gangster rolling with gangster bitches. So he's talking about gangster rap, I'm guessing, right here, right? Um, always smoking blunts and getting drunk, telling me sad stories. Now she only fucks with the funk. Uh, so I guess there were some rappers using, uh, fusing hip hop with funk, right? Uh, stressing how hardcore and real she is. I guess that's going back to the, to the gangster rap, right? Uh, she, she was really the realest before she got into the show biz. So I guess he's talking about, uh, she was really the realest before she got into the show biz. Now everybody's just exploiting her, uh, just for the quick buck. I did her not just to say that I did it, but I'm committed, but so many niggas hit it, so she's been passed around, hip-hop's been passed around, right, uh, niggas using, misusing it, uh, using it the right way, all that, uh, I see niggas slamming her and taking her to the sewer, so misusing her, right, uh, but I'ma take her back, hoping that shit stop, cause I'm, cause who I'm talking about, y'all, is really hip-hop, um, that's fire. So he's talking about how he's still going to stay true to the art form, right? While all these other people misuse the art form and get, uh, use it and throw it away, right? Because they're all doing it for the money, uh, for the clicks and all that shit. But once, because that shit doesn't last. We know gimmicks don't last, right? So once the gimmicks fail and they fall off, he said he'll be here to take her back, uh, hoping the gimmick shit stops. So I'll fuck with it, bro. Fire, bro. Let's keep it going. Let's finish it up. Creative, bro. This is fire. This is dope. 
don't stop. But yes, yes, y'all, it get don't stop. But one, two, comp sis is going to drop. Ha 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 this is dope. Think that you want me to check me? This is dope. Yeah, I'm gonna take you home for stepping your bounds just a little bit. Yeah. Especially for our. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. You know, the, 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 what's so dope about it, too, bro, is obviously the approach he took, right? That shit is phenomenal. The way he executed it, he executed it flawlessly. And on top of that, this shit's. So many rappers have done their own version of this, right? Where they're talking about hip hop, uh, but I guess you can say personifying hip hop as a girl. Uh, so many, bro. Uh, like who? Uh, Eminem did it recently, bro. Right? Uh, Cole's done it. Uh, who else, bro? I think Joe Budden's done it, bro. Like, there's so many rappers who've done this where they they took the same approach, the same lane, bro. So. The fact that, and they obviously heard this song, right? So this song definitely influenced them to do their own version, do their own twist of this. So this is genius, bro. This is really genius. He, the uh, execution was flawless. Um, and he talked about some important shit, how the labels took, took hip hop, right? Uh, basically talking about how giving artists wads of money to exploit the culture exploit the art form uh to make it go mainstream and then that kind of ruined it you know what i mean it took it away from the roots uh of how this shit started um so i fuck with it bro i fucked with it um plus he's giving you history right of the evolution of hip-hop i guess you can say um and the phases that it it uh it went through right uh conscious rap to gangster rap to to the mainstream shit right um uh, what else did he say? Uh, just all that type of shit, bro. To all that type of shit, right? Um, so I fuck with it, bro. Uh, and just the original, uh, the original how it started, how rap started and whatnot, hip hop started. So I enjoyed it, bro. I enjoyed this track a lot. Like I said, I know a lot of the references went over my head because he's talking about specific moments in hip hop. Uh, but I, I, a lot of the shit that I don't know, so uh, I can't catch. But um. The overall idea, I definitely get about it, bro. But um, I enjoyed this track, bro. I enjoyed this track a lot. I kind of wish that I didn't know. Uh, I wish it was a surprise, you know what I mean? And it wasn't spoiled that he was talking about hip-hop, you know what I mean? Because I knew that coming into the reaction. But it is what it is, bro. Uh, but yeah, if you all enjoyed my reaction video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video, do all that fun stuff. And with that being said, I'm going to see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.